the whole point of how I started streaming, um, and right at the beginning was that I used to make like occasional Overwatch content. I used to stream, oh, well, I used to stream it. I used to record videos and whatever with it. Um, but then I kind of stopped after after I kind of uh, I kind of changed my content up a bit again. I went back to Minecraft. Um, I kind of started actually uh, recording my voice as quiet as it may have been, uh, not knowing that I um, in certain software, e.g. OBS, uh, even probably Streamlabs OBS, right, I could actually, you know, raise the, the volume of my voice. <laughs> um, because it's a bit quiet, I am genuinely, generally quiet in real life, but not quite as much as my mic would suggest, I don't think. So anyway, people can hear me, you could not hear me at all really, you can hear a mumble. I'm not sure if I was just speaking quietly as well, and I'm quiet anyway, and you know, I don't know. <laughs> and then that eventually led me on to some of the things like Streamlabs OBS, and now OBS, which I know is much better than Streamlabs because it for performance anyway. Um, which is why I use OBS now, because it just decided that one day my PC was like, eh. You know what? You know, you know how you could just stream perfect quality. Well, not quite perfect quality, but like it's a much worse quality. Um, yeah, you know, now we're not going to be able to do that. We're just going to skip like half your frames, like and like we normally do. That was a fun experience. But <laughs> it was, it, oh yeah. So I ended up just kind of stopping, going, oh well, oh there's a suppose that's OBS. Which I might have tried a bit, I'm not sure, but it was because it was more kind of, you know, Streamlabs OBS was a lot more user friendly. Um, and now that, you, like, you know, OBS has made changing it to UI, it does feel a little bit more user friendly, which is good, uh, which I enjoy, but, like, you know, in terms of the settings, it is a much, much more advanced than that, right? 